And on our GPS, we have light, three lights, and it tells us how far we're out as we spray. So when you do your first line, you have three green lines, so you know you get within 0.25 of a metre. When we're spraying at home, having a fine mist is appropriate, and that's what you use on in your garden. We might use in your garden. In this situation with an aerial spraying, it comes out like raindrops. What we want it to do is to go straight down. If it is a fine mist, there is greater risk, of course, of it blowing and, and um, spreading outside the operational area. So what the nozzles on the aerial sprayer and the way that the formulation is mixed mean that it comes out like raindrops. And when we spray a lot of gorse in here, this is actually the main nozzle we use. Um, and air is intake into it. And the idea of it is that holds the droplet up until it's heavy enough and then drops down. So it's like a, a, a garden hose pouring out right along our nozzles. So that's the idea of these nozzles, to keep the actual um, droplet heavy. In the Regional Council, not only do we have the Parks team, which is experienced in, in um, recreation management, they come from all sorts of different backgrounds and, and um, have extensive training as well, but across the whole of the Regional Council we have people who are qualified and experienced in biosecurity and land management too. And so what we can do is draw on a broad range of deeply experienced people who are well qualified to advise us on these types of operations. Well, I've done my commercial ticket, which took me uh, three years, and then I went on an ag ticket, which took me another six months. So I've got uh, three and a half thousand of um, flying hours and two thousand something in ag. In planning an aerial spraying operation, the first thing we look for is fine and calm weather. And so, uh, of course, when it's raining, things the spray will just simply wash off and it needs to be calm so that we can contain um, the spray within the operational area. If the temperature gets up, we'll stop up to 20, 23, 24, depends on the day. Um, if it's going to get hot really quickly, we normally try and look at packing up at 23. Um, we actually do a risk assessment on every job. So every time we go to a job, we actually do a risk assessment. If we've gone to the site and we're not happy, we have an extensive risk assessment that we do. And that actually can sort of, that goes from the environmental effect to neighbours right through. And then we have to sit down and go through and how we're going to actually um, stop those risks. The two main risks that they are um, checking on continually include the weather conditions um, and mainly the wind speed. And then the other um, aspect that they're managing is who's in the operational area so as not to present risk to the public. It's, it's important, really important, that people um, are well informed so that the community is, understands what's going on and um, can see the reasons why we're doing this.